Hi, it's Brian Johns from the University of Iowa. Today we're using the PCNC770 from Tormach to make our own custom electronic enclosure box. Here we have just a regular enclosure box that's just taken off the shelf and we're going to mill this out to make our own custom, to fit our own custom electronics. We already have a couple components already for this box. First we have this circuit that was already made on the Tormach mill and what it has is it consists of a button on the bottom that has left, right, up, down, and a center button. It has two LEDs and a small LCD screen. Now when we mill, we'll have to mill out holes for all these features so it can be seen from the outside. Controlling all this, this circuit is our Arduino microcontroller. And this will also be in the box. This has a USB plug and a DC power plug here. Holes will be need, need to be milled out for each one of these components so the wires can be fed into the box. For locating the box inside the mill, we'll use the TTS Pro from Tormach to locate the part, but you can also use just a simple edge finder to locate the part. For the tools, the majority of the milling will be done with the 8 inch end mill, 4 flute, for finishing up the corners, we will use a 16th inch end mill, two flute. For all the custom lettering and engraving, we have an engraving bit that's a single flute. Uh, its tip diameter is three thousandths of an inch. First thing we need to do is set the part origin. Since this box has drafted angles on the sides, I have selected the center of the box to be the part origin in the XY axis. So to do this, there's a very quick and simple wizard that we can use. So on the Mach 3 interface, go to Wizards, pick Wizards, and then there's one called Boss Center Point. If we click this one and hit Run, it will bring us up to the next interface. You can set the feed rate here. I'm going to use 45 for the sake of time, but a much slower feed rate will probably produce ac more accurate results. The first thing we need to set is the approximate center point. So by moving, jogging the, the mill to the, the approximate center, once it's approximately in the middle, hit this button. The next is get Z safe level. This is the safe level where the tool retracts to before it does any rapid moves. We can move the tool down just a hair. About right there is the safe level and then click the button get Z safe level probing safe radius we need to move the tool out far enough so it's not going to collide with the box so once it's beyond the box right about there we can hit probing safe radius lastly is the Z probing level this is the level where it's going to touch the box so moving the probe down That level's probably good for the Z probing level. So hit this button. Lastly, we just hit this button on the right hand side that says get XY off center point. Click this button and it should run. After this is finished, the tool is exactly in the middle of our box, so we can go to return to Mach 3 on the interface, and we can set X0 to 
to 0 and also y to 0. And that's all there is to it. Now that the x and y part origin are set, the last thing we have to do is set the z-plane to the top of the box. We can reference each one of the tools off, to, off of this probe. So the last thing we have to do is find the top of this surface with this probe. So if we, on the Mach 3 interface, if we go to z-probe, we can just, all we have to do is set move and set work offset. So click this button right here and it should touch off the top of our part. Alright, so now it's touched off and we can start to touch off each one of our tools and begin milling.